What is up guys, it's Moose here bringing you guys another video. Today we're going to be talking about squad points and how to get more of them. I know this was probably a bigger subject, more towards the beginning of the game, but I want to bring it to you guys anyway. Maybe some of you guys are struggling getting some squad points, making your favorite classes, so I thought I'd help you out here a little bit. Um, as you can see right here, I have around 1,500 squad points, which is insane, and I really don't need any of them since I am 10th prestige. But how I have that many squad points is I really only use um, like two to three guns, the MTAR, the Vector, and the Remington. And I also don't really play that many pub matches. The only ones I really play is Clan v Clan, and that's just to warm up before I play some team scrims with my team. So it's really not like I, I play a lot of pubs and I really get, get, like, get all these squad points. Um, basically how I got these squad points is I never used them, really, for like the last three prestiges. I only bought the necessary perks that I knew I needed, didn't buy anything to waste any squad points with, and um, another little tip with um, operations that I'll show you in a little bit, but I really didn't buy that many, but if you guys are sitting there um, really looking at your squad points after every game, hoping you'll get enough to make your class, that's going to take you forever, and that's probably why you're going to look up this YouTube video. Um, what you're going to want to do is probably an easy tip is to get a bunch of friends together one night and just play for a couple hours. Just continuously just play a whole bunch of games. Um, and then at the end of the night, go look at your squad points. I bet you you will have a lot more than you thought you would have. Um, when you're going through and you're looking at your squad points after every game, um, it's really going to look like you're not getting that many, and you're really just watching it go up little by little. But when you're not watching and you're just playing, you're having fun, those squad points will go up no matter what, and you'll be having fun, so you won't have to waste your time staring at them, seeing what you'll have to do with them. So... That's one of my tips is just keep playing, keep having fun. Your squad points will always go up when you play, so keep playing. The second tip I would say is go to your operations, and in this game, um, let's see if I can find a good one. Uh, we'll go to perks. Uh, let's see if I can find a good one. Okay, right here. As you can see, it says previously completed. Now, in Call of Duty Ghost, you can complete challenges more than once. You can complete them over and over and over and over and over, and this will really help you guys out. Because if you guys know from my um, best creative class videos, I use the same perks and the same guns in a lot of my, um, in a, almost all of my classes. I use the same perks and the same guns over and over and over. So how this is going to help me out is right here, this says get 200 close range kills using dead silence. And as you can see, I've already previously completed it, and it's about to be completed again. And the reward is 6,000 XP and 2 squad points. So you take this, and you do it over and over and over. You just keep playing with a bunch of classes with dead silence, you just keep doing it over and over and over. You'll keep getting that 6,000 XP and those two squad points. Now you may think, oh, that's not really that much, but let me go find another one. Right here, focus. Get 500 kills while you're being shot with focus. I use focus on every one of my classes, just like dead silence. So, and as you can see, this one's already been completed before again. So I'm gonna complete this one again. That's another 6,000 XP and another two squad points. All right, we'll find a different one. Um, right here, marathon. Sprint 40 miles. All you have to do is throw marathon on a class. You just keep running. That's going to complete. And as you can see, I've already completed that. That's another 6,000 XP. Another two squad points. And this is just perks. You can go do weapons. That's going to get you another bunch of XP and more squad points because you're going to complete those at the, about the same time. Attachments. Use silencer for all your classes. That's going to get you another one. Or red dot or whatever you guys want. Game modes. You can play all domination get those all completed at the same time. You're going to get so much XP that you guys didn't even know you could get, plus your squad points from your game, plus your XP from the games you're playing. So you're going to get so many XP and so many squad points, it's going to be crazy. That's what I've noticed, because after a while, I wondered why I kept getting 6,000 XP, and I was wondering why like every game I would get two of them done, and I was like, what is going on here? But that's what I figured out I was doing, and it really ranked me up really quick. Actually, one of my prestiges, I can show you guys right here somewhere. I think it's this one. Yeah, I prestiged in only eight hours, almost nine hours, but that's crazy. That's so quick, and that wasn't even double XP or anything. I was just, for some reason, playing pubs all the time, and really just getting all these crazy challenges going, so that was crazy. But I hope this will help you guys out. Um, please like this. Um, sub for more videos coming out like this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys later.